All right, thank you, Brandon. The retrial of former Senate Majority Leader Joseph Bruno begins next week. And today, one final pre-trial conference sets some of the groundwork for the case against the well-known Republican from Brunswick. Matt Markham is going to be covering that trial for us and begins tonight explaining what we can expect at the start. He's live right now in our Capitol Newsroom. Good evening, Matt. Good evening, Dory. This will likely be a simpler trial than the first one. And today we learn some of what's in and what's out of the second trial for the former senator. The first difference in the second trial of former Senate Majority Leader Joe Bruno, a shorter trial day, so long as Bruno doesn't hold court with reporters outside the courthouse. The decision was made at a request for medical reasons. I think the natural instinct of, of a public official, particularly a politician, is to speak out, speak up. And this person feels very strongly about that he's being wrongly prosecuted and that he's innocent. Uh, order. We have no we have no comments. Attorneys for Bruno did not have anything to say to reporters leaving district court ahead of the trial, which is expected to last two weeks. At the pre-trial conference, Judge Gary Sharp decided to allow evidence from charges on which Bruno was acquitted in the last trial. Well, the reason that would be allowed in is to give background, context, complete the story. That hurts the defendant, though, because it's still hearing about other bad acts that the government alleges that he engaged in. Bruno is accused of taking kickbacks and bribes worth $400,000 from an associate who did business with the state in exchange for legislative favors. His attorney said that money was paid to Bruno to act as a consultant, and his attorney said there was nothing illegal about that. Bruno was convicted on two counts of a section of the mail fraud law in 2009 known as theft of honest services, but the conviction was overturned by the Supreme Court. After the decision that a new trial could take place, Bruno claimed that would constitute double jeopardy. Another possible difference yet to be seen. Joe Bruno didn't testify in the first trial. Will he now feel this is his last chance to say what he did and that he is innocent? Well, the trial will begin with jury selection on Monday. Judge Sharp seemed to think that a jury may be seated that morning, allowing time for opening statements to begin immediately after that. And then the first witnesses could be called on Tuesday. And of course, we'll be watching it, Liz.